Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase on the channel today. Now, you may recognize a few of these faces sitting up here. So today guys, we are going to take a look at the YouTuber items mod. Now, this is the YouTuber blocks mod here and I just decided to put all their faces in because I thought it would suit and in the chest is an item corresponding to each YouTuber. So we're going to get straight in and we're going to wait for Sky because Sky has Sky's butter and that is an edible one so I'm going to let my hunger go down a little bit first. Let's make sure I'm not on peaceful. Oh, um, so, oh, what am I doing here? Where is it? There it is. Difficulty normal. We're okay. We're okay. So I'm going to let my hunger go down before I go for that because I want to see what that does. Next up guys, we have Simon's shovel. Now, Simon's shovel is pretty good, and you can see straight away I've got some particle effects, so that means I have an effect on, and I have haste. So let's see how quick this is. Look, I barely even have to touch, and it works on stone as well as sand, guys. That's insane. Look at that. It takes it all down so fast. That's actually really amazing, this shovel. But you can see the durability goes down pretty fast, so you got to only use it when you really need to because that took quite a lot of durability off it just there. But it is extremely fast, so that's a, a very helpful tool. Next up, we have Popular MMOs, or Pat, and Pat has a sword. So he has a very cool looking sword, actually. It looks pretty groovy if you look at it like that. And we also, we, we have some witches here just to test out the damage that it will do. So let's put one in and let's see. Oh, let's see how many hits it's gonna take. Two, three hits will kill the witch. That's not bad. That is not bad. I think there's a pig somewhere over here. I think Toby's got a pig. So let's rob a few pigs off Toby and see how we can do here. And let's see. One hit. Yeah, one hit on the pig. So that is quite a strong sword. You can see it's got plus 10 attack damage. Where I think a diamond sword is plus 7. Let me double check that now so it does mean it's quite a bit stronger yes so diamond sword is plus seven so it's quite a bit stronger than a diamond sword which is very nice so let's put that back we'll put the witches back as well next up guys we have shin's hoe now i've set some grass down over here just to show you guys what it actually does and if i come up and i right click boom it does a big patch in one go which i think is a very useful tool it's a uh, pretty cool the way it'll do that Next up, we're going to go back, we're going to put Shin's hoe back, and we're going to go for Sips Goes Dirt. So this is from Yogg's Cast Sips, and again, I'm going to have to go over to the grass for this one. Now, if I come over here, and I right click on any of the grass, it will automatically hoe itself, but it will also automatically place some seeds. So that is actually really cool. See, no, it has to be on grass, but that makes sense. But um, you can see that's actually... It's a very helpful little tool and it has durability as well. So it's kind of like a little supply of seeds and hoe all built into one. So let's put that back there. Next up guys, we have Direwolf's Pickaxe. So it has a plus five attack damage and I've set up some stone here just to see how fast it is. It's quite good. I think that's pretty similar to a diamond pickaxe. Just judging by the speed, I would say that's about the same as a diamond pickaxe, but it looks cool. Um, it is a pretty cool tool. I think that was here. There we go. Next up guys We have mr. Captain sparkles and in here we have some pigs and we have captain sparkles Sparkler, I think that's a pretty cool one if you ask me So let's let's throw a few pigs down and let's see what happens So we have a plus six attack damage, so it's almost as good as a, a diamond sword So if we hit them it'll light them straight up on fire as well because the sparkles are catching and the pigs are lighting on fire, so we actually get cooked pork chops, which is pretty nice, and that's uh, it's quite good. So our hunger has gone down a little bit. We're going to go back to Sky, and we're going to get some of Sky's butter and see what happens. So we're going to eat that up, and it gives us quite a bit. What was that? Five bars of hunger, but it'll also give us regeneration here as well. So that's a nice one to have. And guys, all the crafting recipes are very similar. I mean. You can kind of guess as you go. So for the butter, we are going to need... Oh, you click that there. Let me just get this so I can show you. Oh, no, I'm getting attacked. Quick, I need Pat's sword. No, <laughs> the zombie got me. Right, guys, we'll go back there now in a second. 
Right guys, I think I'm gonna keep Pat's sword with me at all times because that got pretty dangerous pretty quick. So I have got some Sky's Butter in here. I'm gonna take it out and I'm just gonna show you guys how to actually craft it. So you need to get YouTuber Dust, which is found by mining and you'll get the YouTuber Ore, which I'll get for you now. And then if you smelt that, you will get this YouTuber Dust. So let me just take some of that and I'll place it down. That's what it looks like. And then you just got to smelt that up to get your YouTuber dust. And that's exactly how all of these are made. You need the one ingredient in the corner and then YouTuber dust the whole way through. So it's pretty cool. Now, let's put this back and we'll put all of that in there. We don't need all this. We can keep some milk just in case. So where were we? I think we're on to Mr. Toby. So Tobuscus Diamond Sword. And it's not as strong as Pat's. It's only got a plus eight, but... It is also giving me... Did that just give me instant health? Where did this come from? Hold on, let me drink this. Just to see what's going on here. Okay, well that's still staying there. Um, But he's got... I think he's got slowness, does he? Or is he blind? I'm not sure. Hold on, I can't see what effect that is. Oh, he's moving. Oh, yeah, he definitely is slowness because he's not moving fast. Look at that, yeah, because pigs would normally... Run around crazy, but they can't because he's getting hit by slowness. As well as having a bit more attack damage than a regular diamond sword. So that's a pretty nice one right there. Next up, guys, we've got munching potatoes. Potato. <laughs> so let's eat this up. We're hungry as well. So we have haste for 10 minutes, guys. That's insane. 10 minutes. That's a huge amount of time to get haste. So that's a really good potato. So good job. Next up, we have think noodles noodles. We're going to eat these up as well. And we have Night Vision 2 for 10 minutes. They are both quite lengthy um, rewards. They're pretty cool. So nice effects off those. Next up we have Basher. And this is Basher's Melon. Let's eat this up and see what we get. So we get a 10 minute jump boost. And guys, look at this for a jump boost. You don't take fall damage and you can spring so high. That is so cool. That's probably my favorite because... I don't know, that's just really helpful. If you're trying to scale up and get up a mountainside, you're not going to take fall damage. And you've got it for 10 minutes every time you eat one of Basher's melons. So that's really, really cool. Okay guys, so next up we have Dan, or the Diamond Minecart, and we have his goggles, which are really cool. And that instant health, for some reason, is just staying there. Maybe, is it because I've got Pat's sword? Let me put Pat's sword away. No, don't know why that's staying there. But anyway, Let's put on Dan's goggles and you can see we get night vision constantly while we have them on. So that's going to be really helpful at night time if the mobs are coming. So let's actually take these off because next up we have another set of glasses and these are Bodil's sunglasses. And if we put these on, we're going to get a speed boost guys, which is really cool. So if you eat a melon, let's eat Basher's melon. Let's get that out. And let's eat one of those. So we've got speed boost, jump boost, that is really cool. I wonder what combination you would have if you used each and every one of the effects here, as well as um, a chosen item as well. That would be pretty insane. But next up guys, we have Jerome, the Baka, and we have Jerome's Axe Betty. And look at it guys, it's plus 10,000 attack damage. So we've got a lot of witches here. I don't think we're going to have an issue if we've got plus... 10,000 attack damage. So let's spawn. They might kill me quick though. That's the only thing. But look at that. Oh, we only get two hits. Oh no. I need to get Pat's sword. Pat's sword. Come here. Quick. Oh wow. They are launching potions at me. But luckily enough, I've got my jump boost to get away. And they're fighting each other now. They're turning on each other. But um, so Jerome's axe only has two uses, which is pretty good because it is 10,000 attack bonus. You could like one hit the ender dragon, you could one hit, you could almost one hit, you could actually one hit the king from Crazy Craft. That's insane. So Jerome's axe is so OP. And uh, let's actually see how we craft that. That's an interesting one. And it could, if it's simple, that's pretty insane. So let's take it here. Let's have a look. It's only a diamond axe and YouTuber dust. That's insane, guys. That would be so overpowered for any mod ever out there because 10,000 damage. Ooh wee, that's crazy. So let's put that back in there. Next up, we have Cupquakes Cupcake. That was always going to be hard, wasn't it? <laughs> so let's uh, let's eat this up and see. Oh, we can't. We need to. We're going to have to run off some of this hunger here. 
hopefully that will go down in a second. So that's next up we have Minecraft Universe and we have his jetpack. Now you got to be careful with this guys because you will take fall damage with this. So I've got the jump boost, that's fine, that's not going to do it, but I've, I shift, actually, just before. No, I'm after doing it, I'm after doing it. It's going to kill me, yeah. <laughs> so if you shift, you'll actually go up, and if you, um, if, but when you land, you will take the fall damage, so you got to be very, very careful. I had a mixture of things on there, so it got a little bit messy. But what I'll do is I'll go back and demonstrate the jetpack again for you guys now. Okay guys, first of all, I have lost some hunger getting back here, so I'm going to eat up Mrs. Cupquake's cupcake, and we get a bit of instant health, just for a split second, so that's not bad, that's pretty good. Next up, as we've seen already, is the jetpack, so now I'm going to show you what happens. If I shift, it's going to shoot me up into the air like I'm flying a jetpack, so if I hold it, I'm up really high, I can continue flying, I can continue flying, but... Let me try and take a soft landing, see if I can do that, will I? See if I can do it. Oh yeah, there we go. So you just have to be very careful on coming back down. So it does just shoot you straight up. You can't really just shoot forwards. You're pretty much going upwards. But look how fast you go as well. That is so crazy. So hopefully I can... I'm trying to direct myself towards water here. See if I can make it. There we go. Beautiful. And let's shoot ourselves back out here. So that's a really cool um, reward to get as well. I do like that one. Let's have a quick look at how you can craft it. That's only with a torch and YouTuber dust, guys. That's pretty insane. So the crafting recipes are quite easy for good rewards. So it is a really cool mod. Last but not least, guys, we have the Atlanta Craft. So we have Joe and Cody here. Look at this. Split faces. I love it. And we have the Atlanta Craft's Trident. Now, guys, you could probably guess what this is going to do. This has to do with being underwater. So we right click it, we're going to get water breathing for a minute. So that's pretty cool. So you can see, boom, we've got a full minute and we right click it again, we're back up to a minute. So it does have a durability, but guys, you could last a long time under the ocean with the Atlantic Crafts Trident. Now guys, finally, we have one more item added into this mod and it is ender noobs ender pearl and ender noob is the guy who actually made the mod so it's pretty cool that you he added in an item for himself and to be honest i really do like this item you can see it's got a durability down there but it acts as like i would say a packet of ender pearls so you can keep on going until the durability is gone and it's just the one item so it's like a big bunch of ender pearls and it only takes up that one little slot so it's pretty cool and let's just, I could probably guess, but let's see. It's an ender pearl and YouTuber dust. Easy to make, guys, and a lot of fun. If you guys do enjoy these mod showcases, then be sure to smack that like button. There are a few more to do with YouTubers that I do want to take a look at. Also, I want to revisit the YouTuber heads mod because we have been added into it. And that would be pretty cool to see what kind of effects we have. If you guys want to see that, smack that like button. Leave any comments down below and we will see you soon for more.